I should have typed things before hitting live stream. Alright. Thing on Twitch now. Okay then, hello 3D Wrecker and hello driver, hello, 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 hello. I'm so glad the From the Depths menu is interesting. There we go, yep, I know how to paste links around. Hello, Pazavest. Hello, Solid Pickle. First time chat, welcome to the stream! Welcome to the stream! Ow! I just ran over my own foot with my own chair. It's embarrassing. Uh, let's go here and paste here. Don't mind me. I am social media ing. I should really figure out a way, of, like, you know, to get a bot to just paste, like, links everywhere. But I don't know how. Okay. There we go. And doop doop doop. And doop. And doop doop doop. Hello, hello, Senros. Yay! You're welcome. I've wasted <coughs> more than 5,000 hours of my life over the last six years. Well, nice to know that I'm managing to uh, successfully promote From the Depths as a video game. So, that's very, very nice. So, alright, so... Oh, and hello, Monster Gecko. So, uh, in case anyone uh, did not know, this stream we're going to be going over a custom faction for the custom campaign that uh, I've kind of started and, like, other people are actually doing way more work on. Uh, we've done one, we've done the Hawa Confederation, and we're gonna do the Amphitazwa Alliance today, which is all about amphibious tanks and other cool stuff like that. And don't worry, Senros, about uh, running the campaign. Uh, the campaign is, I don't know, you do that when you feel ready for it, basically. Uh, hello, Christian Monster. FYI, might be quiet since there's a tourney going in five minutes. Oh my goodness, okay, I didn't know that, so it's all good. People can run both at the same time. Which tourney? Is that Menti's uh, tourney? Is it Menti, Aperture, who is it? Who, who does it? Who did the thing? I will also mention that I'm going to try and be a little bit ruthless uh, with this faction because uh, the criteria... Oh, Aquilade Company. I haven't heard of them. I should check them out. There are actually a fair amount of From the Depths uh, content creators on Twitch and on YouTube, so I should hunt around a little bit more for them. Trying to get friends to play with it. Oh, good on you. I don't really do multiplayer at all, but I understand that multiplayer From the Depths can actually be very fun when you get it working. Okay, so I was talking about Ruthlessness. So, the criteria for this faction is that every... Um, they don't have any ships, but, uh, they, all their vehicles are either flying or amphibious, which means they must be able to float. So, there is that. So, let's do here, can you begin, Amphitals of Alliance, and we're first off, we have a lot of them, by the way. There are, this faction is very popular, so, we're gonna go here, we're gonna go, I don't know, light tanks. I don't know what the criteria exactly for light tanks are, um, but heavy tanks and planes and structures and fortresses, and that 
might cover everything for now. Alright, so now let's just go down the list in no particular order. I have seen some of these before, uh, others I have not seen yet. And if I've missed something, like, if you're watching the VOD of this later, do let me know. Uh, da -da -da. Okay... Do, 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 do... Aki! Hello, Henry! Welcome, welcome. Ah, yes, recoil. Recoil's a thing. Alright, so first we've got the dragonfly. Who made this? Cheese bags! This is... I, what the hell is this? I'm not sure what this thing is supposed to be, but... What needs to change about this? I think... I mean, this is like some CNC level ridiculousness. What's it armed with? It's missiles and APS by the looks of it. Hold on a minute. Oh, it's a lot of APS actually. Does it fly backwards? Like, all right, hang on. We're not gonna combat test every single thing we look at, but um, what is this? Point at and maintain distance. Alright, can it move backwards is the question. I mean, this, of course, like, pretty much everything is gonna need more prettying up, including the stuff I make, so... Okay, now that's fine. This is growing on me, actually. It's a little rough around the edges, but uh, what would this be? This would, I guess that's a helicopter, which is the one thing I didn't make a category for yet. Of course. So let's go here. Helicopter. And just check this. Always remember to do this. Also, I'm just going to do that. Save over the dragonfly, and now we chuck the dragonfly into the helicopter section. Whoop! Jolly good. That's one. Yeah, but it's a function to pause whatever I'm watching. Nice. Oh! <laughs> pause stream! Why is it so quiet? Oh boy. Alright, what else are we looking at? Do 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 do. Yay! <laughs> that is a good way to describe ugliness. So, so, almost stealthy so you'd have to look away. I think I have seen the, uh, pretty depth Permian. It is gorgeous. Alright, the Caprosuchus. I remember this. Alright, so here's what's gonna happen, and this is the ruthless bit, is that, um, if I spawn a tank on the water and it doesn't float, I'm just gonna bin it. Um, and... If whoever made it wants to still put it in the custom campaign, then they must make a floaty version. So yeah, there, that's the that's the deal. Oh, I remember who did this. This is Jaloric Drelor makes awesome things. Yep. This is kind of the vibe we want uh, for the Amphitazo Alliance. Alright, so how well do you move in the water, though, is the question. So if I put you over there, and if I, I don't know, just blow this up quickly. Yep. How big is this thing? Alright, this thing is a, it's a laggy beast, but I'm assuming that's just because of, like, decorations, perhaps? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so actually this is quite fast in the water. Beautiful. Alright, Caprosuchus. Let's hold on. Check the resource things. Yeah. Always gotta do that. And it should be an all-terrain vehicle. So, save the vehicle. Oh, that's why. Save over. Load. And that's definitely a heavy tank, so that goes there. Okay. Stop. Laggy as hell. So pretty, yeah. Do do do. Sarko, make that a boss for Yep. Okay. 
Drillorg just makes very pretty things. Alright, so, alright, so we've got a structure here. Which is down there, so, excuse me, I'm just going to go... I like this, it looks cool. Alright, let's go to the land designer. Honestly, I should just stay in the land designer, just... For the sake of, you know. Uh, let's go here, let's spawn in our friend... Interesting. Uh, the turret's on sideways, but that's not a huge issue. Uh, let's have a look here. I think the Amphitazo Alliance is somewhat easier to build for than the Hawa, because they can actually use fun things like metal and stuff. Also, just in case anyone's feeling cute, no, you don't have to make the structures amphibious. I'm not even sure how that would work. Uh, and yeah, this does look like, like a Gepard. Or perhaps the Tunguska? Or not. Yeah, more Gepard, I think. And so if I spawn in an Atlas, let's see what happens. Yep, that's an AA turret. Meow, 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 meow. Okay, we're good. All good in the neighborhood. Let's move on. That is definitely a structure. And let's just go here. Paste. And there's multiple things called the frog. So ultimately there can only be one. This alliance is spelled wrong. So if I drop this in here. Alright. She floats. Who made this? This is Ubot's work. This needs some um, prettying up a little bit. But yeah, it's an amphibious tank, that's for sure. It's actually... How fast are you going, sir? How... How speedy, how funky is your chicken? Also, you need to stop moving so I can actually land on you. There we go. Off you go again. What is your top speed? Drop you in the water, you do... I don't know. Could be faster, but it's a tank, not a boat, so there we go. Alright, so this is definitely more of a light tank. What should the... Let's, this probably needs to be... Have the name changed, but... Eh. So there's our first life tank. And oh, the alligator and the croc. Maybe we should pick only one one of these. I remember these. This is Droloric again, I think. I think this was made before the Sarkasukas. But yep, also, heavy tank. This is bloody gorgeous. And so is the croc. So cool. I mean, these things are very similar. They just got slightly different... Um, I guess slightly different layouts, but yeah, this is very Command and conquer -y, and this is what I kind of wanted for this faction. Kind of Command and Conquer theme. So yeah. Let's have these, alligator and croc. And yes, I know it's faster to just go into the files and do that, but then you can't see what I'm doing, can ya? Alright. <laughs> Fortresses are amphibious structures, true. Uh, da -da -da, technically vehicles so they can float. Uh, that could be a bit of a pain in the butt, weather could ruin that. Yeah, I yeah, 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 ions. Okay, let's go here, so let's do that. Croc and alligator are where they're supposed to be. Now we've got the Gek, let's see. Oh, this is another one! This is light tank. I'm just doing, like, distinction between light and heavy. Simply. I haven't seen this one, actually. Atlas? This is great. It's also actually kind of quick by the looks of it. Let's see here. How fast are you going, dude? Oh, we're not... Oh, dear. We're nowhere near the speedometer. Well, missed. Screenshot. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I've built, like, structures and fortresses generally aren't that useful in From the Depths, but, um... I don't know, they have their moments. Okay, that's a good... What? Wow, AI did. Alright, man, I like the Gek. I think this thing could actually surprise someone. So, let's see here, just double check in here. Not being 100% consistent. Save it as the Gek. And short for Gecko, presumably. And now, what do we got here? We got... We got the Mud Skipper. I remember seeing this on the workshop thinking, what the hell? Oh, this is a cargo craft. Excellent. I need to make a new folder for that. Hold on. Let's see here. You could probably tweak some stuff. I'm get well. I'm guessing this is a cargo craft. Uh, it is set to all terrain, which is exactly what we want. And uh, let's skip her. And so. I guess resource craft. I don't remember what I what folder I had for the other thing. Resource and cargo craft. There we go. And mud skipper, you just in you go. In you freaking go. And beautiful. And what do we got? Do 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 do. Yeah, no. It's like people have actually done really well uh, a lot of the time. Here's the polywog. This is... What is this? This is Drolor Droloric has been... Oh, dear. Whoa, this thing has problems floating. That is so cool. It's got an azipod with wheels and props on it. Oh, I love this. Like, should I just throw everyone else's designs out, including my own, and we just use Droloric's designs? <laughs> because that would be... That would make this a lot easier. I'm just kidding, I'm not going to do that. Uh, let's just double check here. And just got to do that, and save, and polywog, and polywog goes... How big is this? I'm going to say this is a light tank. Again, not really real life definitions. Basically, it's just light tanks are small and heavy tanks are big-ish. Yeah. Well, 3D Wrecker, if you never use crams, I do have to say, like, that's totally valid because crams are... I love crams, but, like, especially recently I've been building a cram thing uh, for a video. It's actually... Like, if once you get used to things like advanced cannons, crams are very frustrating. They're like, why can't you hit things? What is this? This is... Whoa, hello. Whoa, hello. I remember this. This is a little fighter aircraft, I think. This is Scout Seahawk. What is this thing packing? Is this a diff gun? It is. Interesting. The firing piece in the mantle. Oh dear. Place with different rotations. Interesting. That might cripple its ability to uh, actually do something. So. This. I have literally never seen that so I'm just gonna go there and hopefully that fixes everything and what else are we looking at here ah, it's got missiles as well so not a dogfighter as a uh, ground scout I'm guessing I like it I like it could be smoothed out a little bit more but you know yeah, let's go... And it's also nice and cheap. I think, like, this is the kind of thing that I think the AI will like spamming. So let's save here. And Seahawk. <laughs> Seahawk, I get it. So, there we go. And what do we have here? We have a barnacle. 
Resource gatherer. I think this is a fortress. A reasonably expensive one. Yeah. Uh, diff gun. Yeah. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, the ads aren't much money, but I can confirm that. Oh, right. Um. That's a thing I should do. I forgot to do it last time, stupidly. Um, uh, I've set the ads to be manual, I guess apart from the pre-roll ones, but um, there'll be an ad break one hour in, which is about oh, 40 minutes from now, uh, which will is usually the time I walk off to get like a, a soft drink or something anyway, so um, yeah. Where is it? Let's check me buttons. I believe... Yeah, I will run a, a one-minute ad uh, for, like, you know, at about an hour in. Because that way, like, I don't get cut off mid-sentence. Okay, uh, what was I doing? I was doing... This. I was looking at this. Yay! Alrighty, so this is first contender for a resource zone with... A 500mm cannon on it, so I guess that's one way to uh, discourage uh, a Hawa airship from getting too close. Okay, maybe that should be swapped out for something lower gauge, but um, but yeah, no, 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 it's fine. And that's all. This should be a creator. And yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Right, so the barnacle can go... Fortresses, there we go. And then we've got a flak tower, which means deleting everything. Back to land! We must go back to the land. Uh, which one? Oh, right! Gotcha! Beep beep! And flak tower. Okay, this thing. Okay, this thing needs a little bit of a paint adjustment. Hold on. This needs to be. Hold on. Something like this, a little bit darker, I think. Also, there's a fun thing you can do because spawning buildings in is a little bit um, is a little bit wonky. So what you can do is you can what is this you can actually basically decorate um you can deco poles onto the thing so it looks um it looks like something how it's meant to go uh, structures are and you've got a problem as well if you're building structures you can't dip below the ground so i'm just gonna go here up down positioning minus one so now the poles are still there, and that's not actually ideal for a bunker, so never mind. You probably need some kind of curtain. Hang on. I think me mostly me messing around uh, with this is like for demonstration purposes. One, two, three, hold on. How big does this get? Up, down, scaling, there. And forward backward positioning. Like that. And down you go. There we go. Something like that can just make your building just not appear too floaty, so that's a handy thing. And I'm just going to do the same thing right here. Damn it. Wasn't good enough. And now I'm just officially getting distracted right now. Oh, this is awkward. This is awkward. Awkward. Do do do. Banjo music. 
understand your music is in my brain it is and copy and paste hopefully that doesn't look terrible great so that's a nice way to get a structure to do what you wanted to let's shoot at an atlas why not and Swarm drones are a valid option to use in this campaign. Um, I do want to keep sub-vehicles to kind of a minimum, but uh, so... I, unless it's actually a carrier, then keep the drone swarms, like, low, I guess. Is that gun even firing? Oh dear, it isn't. Interesting. I don't know what's happening there. Interesting. Let's troubleshoot this a little bit. Wait a minute. Is that a SeaWiz controller? It is. How is this a flak tower if the main armament is missiles and the flak gun doesn't shoot at stuff. There's ways to deal with that, but... And because AA turret or something like that. Well then, alright, so this thing is uh, like... I believe it's the only flak tower we've got. It needs a little bit of change. Who made this? Jank! Uh, we'll just, uh, we'll just bug it into the structures for new actually hold on we've already got an AA turret and this is like this AA turret but different I guess this could be converted into a missile turret so yeah keep that one in mind and we've got a second frog here yep Yep. I figured it out. I figured it out. Alright, so what do we got here? This is the other frog. Does she float? She does float. She can't really fight, though, is the problem. I remember seeing this. So, we do this, and it over there. It's got a propeller, so it can move. Not very quickly. And let's just go back and check our other frog. Both of the frogs are... I don't want to be mean, they're not the best. I like the shape of this one, but this one's more functional, so... Wait, does this have any detection on it? I just realized. Let's re we could rename this to something. I'm not sure what we can rename it. The Newt, perhaps? I don't think we have a Newt. Hang on. I'm going to do some mystical voodoo. And I'm going to rename something. So you can't see what I'm doing now. It's a mystery. You're just going to have to savor the mystery a little bit. And... It, it, it. That wasn't the right place. Uh, okay. Constructibles. Custom factions. Can we get in? Phantasma Alliance. And which frog are we after? We're after Phantasma Alliance frog. And I'm gonna drop. Whoops. And. Frog. And. Documents from the depths. Damn it. Alright, so it's not the misspelled one. Wait, there's a frog version 2, I think. Hold on. There is a frog version 2. Hold on, before I delete anything, let's see frog version 2. Oh, that's a better frog. That is a much better frog. It's still basically submerged, but it's a better frog. Okay, it looks like it is... I was about to say it looks faster, but not really. 
Okay. Righty ho. Let's delete this first frog. And... Frog V2 can be a newt. Right, you get out of here. We've got your upgrade. I should probably correct the spelling of things. Frog advance cannon, frongus moment, rainbow frog. Rainbow frog? It's just got shells exposed. That's pretty much it. I do like how what... Th this is actually kind of impressive deco work here by the looks of it. I think, I think that's what it is. Oh lordy. Yep, okay, so that's the problem with using decorations like this, is that they are a lag fest, just because of the mesh of the thing, so we might need to lose that. Um, could be a problem. Uh, but we're gonna resave this, because I think that's just easier. Newt. I'm just gonna call it the Newt. She turned me into a newt! And then... Biff this, for the lack of that, and... I know it's not technically a tank. Leave me alone. Alright, hold on. Let's just do this as well. Altering vehicle. And newt. And blow everything up. And now we go here. Whoops, we have the iguana. Whoop, da. Yeah! Clicking is hard. Right. Oh, this is artillery. How the hell does this thing float so well? I have a feeling. Yep, that's okay. We can probably use large propellers there, but... Yep, this is valid, by the way. Like, um... From the depths being what it is, if, uh... If this is what it takes to get your tank to be amphibious, I'm fine with that. This is artillery. A self-propelled gun. Me likey. Just checking something randomly. Yes. Who made this? This is Epic Omega. Well done, Epic Omega. We got some artillery here. Why is there a laser? Why is there one of those? Oh, that's an adventure bell. Oh, dear. The thing's rolling over. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Doesn't have roll control. Alright, well, that's a pretty easy fix. There we go, there we go. And we can get rid of some of these dern blocks. There we go. I fix! And that's now visible, but, you know, all good. At least the thing doesn't roll over now. It doesn't do a roly-poly. Alright, so let's save that, the iguana. And chuck the iguana into... I guess this would be, I don't know, let's have a separate artillery folder. Because I know that other people have made, like, artillery units for this, so... There we go. Yeah! Yay! Hooray for cheap, annoying drone swarms, so long as I don't have to deal with them. Okay, so there's the Iguana. And we've got the... Oh, I remember this! Oh, I remember this. This is... This is wonderful. I remember this. Oh, the turrets on this. Who made this? This is Epic Omega again! Alright, let's set you... Yeah, oh wow, look at that! It's already set to the correct thing. Beautiful. Let's chuck that in the planes. And let's chuck that in the planes. And... Wait, no, there's a version 2. There's a version 2. I'm not sure what the difference is. Hold on. 
This one, 1942. Oh, this one's cheaper, so I'm not sure what was the difference there. Okay, I'm gonna go with the version 2, because I'm going to assume that this is the improved version. Why does it have tail planes in here? Oh, wow, I didn't know that. You can stick... You can stick tail planes, like, in the wings. For the sake of maneuverability. Huh. Didn't know that works. Anyway, so just to, to, to destroy this. I'm going to chuck that into planes. Also, all of these things are going to get their names tidied up at some point. Uh, oh, I remember the raucous. Deco and missiles in version 2. Okay. Oh, thanks for spotting that. I missed that. Alright, so let's go with the raucous. I remember this. I think this is not amphibious, so... Or is it? I think that uh, I reviewed this before, and then I said to the person, like, this has to be amphibious for it to, like, be as part of the Amphitazo Alliance, and they were like, okay, and then they made it amphibious, and they have. So this, thing's, this thing is definitely a heavy tank. A heavy tank that spawns it with friends. Awesome, let's have that. Let us go, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I think, is the spade for amphibious? Yes it is. I'm going to assume that it is. Alright, so... Whoops. Save over, load, the raucous heavy tanks, go there, jolly good, laggy beast unfortunately, that's what uh, sub to do, and we've got the tadpole, and I think this thing is just, this thing might not be, it is amphibious, oh yeah, what does this remind me of, it's just got one, this is artillery, definitely, so if I chuck, what is this, Attack run 2.0? Does this drive towards the enemy all crazy like? Alright, so we've got some roll issues. Oh wow, I like this thing. Oh wow, I can imagine the uh, AI spamming these. I love this. <laughs> this is so. This is like. A scud launcher, but like extra irritating. And with missile deco, it, uh, you could stick that other thing there on this. Yep. And let's see what happens when the Atlas tries to bomb it. Not much. No way. Advantage of light craft. Explosions push you away from explosions. That absolutely tickles. That tickles me. That's good. Love it. Who made this? Epic Omega. There's a pattern in, of contributions here. It's really good. Let's just save, load, and this goes into artillery because of course it does. We might even have, like, dedicated uh, bases producing, like, specific things. So there's, like, an artillery base, a light tank base, a heavy tank base. Yay. Okay, so what do we got here? We got the walrus. This thing's huge. What the hell? This thing might be too big. Remember, there's a 30,000 uh, block limit, so... What the hell? Okay, nope, it's under it. Alright, this needs some prettying up, definitely. Who made this? Jank! The camo's a bit ugly, not gonna lie. Let's try and find a different one. Forest. One. Yeah, alright, immediately that's better. What do we got here? Yeah, this needs... This is gonna need a fair amount of tweaking. Yeah, 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 yeah. I might have to take some time to uh, 
to pretty this because I like the idea just this is like what the hell is this this is like a super heavy tank where is the boundary between heavy tank and super heavy tank so far this oh no it's gonna run over the tadpole where are the tracks there it doesn't have any it's like um hang on a minute it's like a hovercraft. Actually, yeah, it is a hovercraft. Hang on. New folder, hovercraft. Because I think I made a hovercraft, actually. So let's go here. Hovercraft. Dick. And you are gonna go... Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's tweak some things first. Actually, let's have a look at your insides. Yeah, you don't have enough shields. I mean, don't have enough engine power for shield, so... Yeah, there's gonna be, have to be some jiggery-pokery... Um, to do here. Also, way too many lambs nodes. Also, cluster missiles, by the looks of it. Let's see here. Yeah, it's, a uh, It fires a, a decoy that lobs cluster interceptors. Cute idea. And it's got a big ass railgun, and it's got engines at the front, and it's got armor by the looks of it. I just want to see how well this thing drives over land. Whoops! Uh, can it steer is the question. It can, kind of. Hold on. Let's see here. Alright, this needs a lot of tweaking, but it's it's okay. We can use this. We can use this as a base for beautiful things. So, let's just save it. Did I already... No, I didn't. Let's go here... Hovercraft. Maybe I can separate that out into light or heavy hovercraft. Yeah. Is one beta bomb by planes. Uh, true. I think Lathland has done a missile-only campaign at some point. Like, I don't remember when exactly... This is taking too long. You steer like a... You steer like a pig on roller skates. Get over there. Now get on to land. I want to see how you do. Yeah, no, nope. she is amphibious. She is amphibious. Because she got the rubber. This is cool. Like, imagine if you're, like, getting used to all the little things the Alliance throws at you and then this thing rolls up. Or the... Upgraded version of this thing, at least. Alright. Jolly good, jolly good. Walrus, we can do that. And we've got one of these. Over here, we're going to have a scout tank. Let's see if it floats. It floats! Oh, I love this. Like, hiding the propellers. Good idea. What is this? That is... Who made this one? This is E421T. I like this. Probably more consi We should probably figure out, like, a consistent camo scheme, like, for each vehicle category. So it's like, forest something for the light tanks, forest different something for the heavy tanks, and that kind of thing. Because some of the forest camos, I, I personally find them ugly, so... So we do that. Something like that. Like, you know what, I'm... It doesn't matter too much. I'm just gonna kablooey. And do this again. Just check that it's got its bits sorted out. It does. Save the vehicle. Scout load. And put that into light tanks. Jolly good. So the uh, AT24, that can do 
just fine. We might need to rename that as well, because everything else is like being named after an animal of some kind. Sitonia Orata. Oh, what the hell is this? I think... What is this? Oh, I remember this. It's a... Uh, I guess this would count as a helicopter of some kind. Or an airship. I'm not sure. Hold on. Does it retreat from stuff? Atlas, I need your body to be sacrificed for science. Wow, did the scout tank get first blood on the Atlas? Alright, so we've got a bit of a problem here because it's like its own nose is getting in the way of its gun. Also, it has exposed jets on it, which is a bit of an ish. Why are you flying underneath the Atlas? Why are you doing this thing? That's not smart. Oh wow, and those guns have like very little traverse. Point at, maintain distance. What is your distance, though? One hundred meters. Okay, wow. This thing is a brawler, I guess. Right. So we've got a chin problem with this, with this, uh, with this thing, and it's apparently it's not good against other airships. So I'm gonna call this an airship. It's getting bullied by an atlas. That's sad. Let us not... Let us not witness this. Okay, you do that. Thank you, thank you. Save... The Orata. I'm not sure what that is. Santonio Orata. It sounds like the scientific name for something. Uh, where do we have... The, we do not have an airships folder. This simply will not do. Gold seal, sea lines and novels. That's true. It's true, like, we don't have a sea lion yet. Someone could make that. Uh, there is a spreadsheet, um, showing, like, what we have. Alright. Sea lion. What the hell am I doing? Alright, I typed what I was thinking. Airships. And you, sir, go in the airships folder. And delete everything because that makes life easier. And we're here. And what is next? The Deacon. Oh wait, no, I think I remember this thing. This... I don't remember who made this, but yeah, this thing... Alright, so this is not amphibious. Is it going to sink to the bottom of the ocean? Yeah. Sorry, I don't remember who made this, but... Bye. And... Gariel, let's see here. And that's also player, and also I don't remember... Hold on. Do you even have water movement? No, you don't. Alright, so this is where things get a little bit uh, ruthless. Because I don't have time in my life to turn every non-amphibious thing into an amphibious thing. Alright, so HT1. I remember this thing! It has a drone! Who did this? The general... Alright, I think this is a hover tank, which is... Whoa, no, 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 no. Alright, so this is a hover tank with some teething problems. That tends to... Yeah, its uh, altitude is set way too low. Way too low. Right, so let us fix that. Look ahead time. Do, do, do. Let's get you up. Oh, no, the drone exploded. Damn it. Okay. Right, so we might need some... What do we need here? We need some ions, possibly. Maybe a propeller on the bottom. Right. Do not be afraid to have your hover tanks um, be somewhat off the ground. 
because that's a good idea. That is actually a very good idea, just to have a radar drone like that. This thing looks cool, otherwise. Oh yeah, we need a hover tanks folder. Uh, yeah, hover tanks and hovercraft are a different thing, by the way. Hover... Hover... Tanks. And just check, this is like so... And this is just like so. We can always fix these later. And hover tanks. Hover tanks are fine for this uh, faction, by the way. They fit the rule set. Alright, we got a marsh worker next. Uh, if you're drinking coffee and getting more tired, it's probably because you are tired to the point where your brain is made... I forget the name of the... Of the uh, chemical, but it's the thing that um, makes yourself tired. Uh, basically, your body's producing enough of that, and it's just like saying, "No, no, we are tired. You must listen to me now." Melatonin? Is that what it is? It's a thing that caffeine. Uh, it's a thing that is supposed to go on the neurons, and then caffeine binds to that instead, and that's how it keeps you awake. Uh, let's see, Marsh Worker, let's see here, what do we got? Oh, I like this. Oh, I like this! It's very pointy for absolutely no reason. Um... It's got a lot of missiles on it? My goodness, okay, wow. Alright, so this is the kind of thing it's like, you kindly... Eh, interesting. I'm not sure whether this counts as a resource craft or... Wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, block counter. Does it have a material gap? Uh, if it has material... Nope, okay, so this is... That's a hovercraft. Or a hover tank, maybe? Hold on. Hold on. Hold the foon. Hold das foon. It is flying, I think. Oh yeah, it definitely is. Yeah, that's a hover tank. This is actually a hover tank. <laughs> tank. Big inverted commas. Or is it... Yeah, hover tank. That's what it is. We're b playing very fast and loose uh, with... Hold on, hold on. We're playing very fast and loose with definitions here. Oh, you just got out of the way of something. Well done. And now you put yourself in the water. So, hover tanks. Hover tanks. There we go. Ooh. A denizen. That sounds right. Like, you know, I can neither confirm nor deny that, but you know what? That sounds right. All right. Thank you, Senros. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's do model 1976. This is very cheap. Who did this? Fan build. Is this thing amphibious? It very badly needs roll control. Thankfully, that's easy. Whoops. And turn that crap off. And we're doing roly polies. Thankfully, there's a way to deal with that as well. Oh, this is adorable. I think. How long ago was this thing made? There we go. It's like a little T-34. This is a light tank. This is about as light as you can possibly get. Pusher. Sure. 
Why is the Turner's thing set to not correct? Alright, well that was easy to fix. Probably needs pitch control as well, but... and a radar of some kind. Uh, okay, but, you know, that's, that's okay. That is the most cute thing I've seen all day, so... Uh, hello? Hockey no work. There we go. Whoops! And let's do there. Model 1976. Again, this is probably going to need a name of some kind. I'm not sure what. Uh, Tardigrade, maybe? I don't know. That might be fun. Uh, light tanks. We go here. And let's just delete everything before everything gets too laggy. And what do we got here? Mr. A1. Oh. Oh. Someone's doing a T80 impression. Or T70. This thing does not float. This thing is very much not floating. Hold on. I think... Hold on. You gotta allow hover, guys. Let's see, are you doing enough? No, you're not. Why you not? How low we can go above land? Hold on. Probably the way to do it. Hello. Interesting. Interesting, inter it's always fun to see just how the damn thing messes up completely. Because this should be trying to push it out of the water now, but it's not. Okay then, interesting. Get rid of that, max altitude, minimum. Hmm. I didn't turn hover off, what are you talking about? Oh. I thought it was off, but then, okay. What? That's embarrassing. And currently this thing has a problem with, you know what I'm gonna do that's very cheeky. Right. So, like I said, I don't want to fix every single thing. If no attempt has been made at making it amphibious, we're going to move on with our lives. But, what we can do is this. Yeah, automatic control is always a giant pain. Wow, this thing does not know what height it's supposed to be at. Wow! Okay, that, oh right, that's what's happened. You shouldn't turn it off. Oh no! Ad break in two minutes. Thank you for reminding me. Can I fix this in two minutes is the question. Okay. This thing very badly needs a PID, so I'm going to stick one on here. Where is PID? Why are there so many physical connectors? Why is this made on... Okay, I'm just going to slap a breadboard PID on here. Uh, bread PID 2. And altitude is 10. What the hell am I... Oh, okay, that's why. That's why. Silly, silly, silly me. Okay. Also, way too much ammo. Okay. 
Whoops. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We can do this. Why are you not connected? Oh, of course. Ah, why is life hard? Okay. I'm going to leave everyone looking at this thing. I'm going to run a one minute ad uh, and get a soft drink. So stick with me and be sure to absolutely roast whatever ad uh, comes up. First time I've ever pushed the ad button. Here we go. So people who are subscribed uh, should be able to see, or maybe it just had a delay. People who are subscribed, um, can you still hear me? And let's have to see if it actually worked. If it did not work, that's a real bummer, because it means only 30 seconds. Okay, wow. Okay. Alright, so what should be happening is that the people who are subscribed, they should see no ad. Because that's the whole point of subscribing. And the people who haven't subscribed, you get an ad. Be sure to say what ad you get so we can all laugh at it. Yay! And for me, ad ends in... Right now. Excellent. Oh yeah, so people uh, have handed out gift subs before, so that's entirely a thing. That was very quick. The Sabura ad? Two M&M ads. Two? That's two times- that's- that's too many. Too many. Right, let's- like, you know, this tank I need to- Firstly- Hmm, interesting. That's very janky. Twitch. Uh, okay, what else can I do? Maybe I should have run a two-minute ad. Hold on, let's have a look here. Yep. Can't do that every time. Okay, uh, let's see here. How do we make this thing do what we want it to? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to be super lazy. I'm going to do what I've done before, and we're going to turn all the metal into alloy. I'm going to turn all the heavy armor into metal. Now this thing floats really well. Almost too well. <laughs> Hold on, are these props even set up correctly? Alright, those are pitchers, and they're actually now they're all too damn powerful, so... I'm going to remove a bunch of them. I'm getting distracted. This is a building game, you can't help it, you just want to build. Whoops. Right. There we go. She goes like stink. And now her props are too high. I think I ran into this problem before. Where do you want to be? You want to be over there. Well, there's an easy fix for this. Watch and learn. Oh no! <laughs> oh boy. 
I feel bad now, I just biffed some designs and, uh... Right, so let's tweak the pitch angle. Negative one degrees, and see if that helps. Whee! That did not help. Let's go minus ten. And minus ten. Ever seen a tank do barrel rolls? It's pretty good. Okay, that's uh, that's uh, decent enough for now. We're still doing roly polies. Still diving in and out of the water like a big fish. Do do do. Oh dear. <laughs> Oh boy, what do you think of Hell Divers? Um, I forget what is it. What's that game again? Huh. Icky. Okay. Let's think now. Let's have a thinky think. How do we fix this? It tends to roll when it's out of the water, so. You know what that mean, that mean... Whoops. That mean we do this. Roller. Roller. There we go. Goofy as hell, let's throw it against an atlas and see what happens. But first, save it. <laughs> um... I think also this one had the thing where it has like very strict range limits on the yes it does what the hell is happening for there what the hell is going on okay I'm going to Okay, we're going to keep this, but I'm going to work on that later when I remember. Or, um, oh my goodness, that username. Um, if you want to fix this thing so it's like, uh, doesn't sync, whoever made this, sorry, I don't remember off the top of my head. Um, that would be super cool of you. In the meantime, I'm going to put it, uh, in the light tank, uh, section. Because at the very least, there was an attempt to make it amphibious, to make it not sink like a rock. Okay. Alright, here we go, and now... Oh, there's a lot of... Oh, right, there's a lot of misters. There's a lot of Mr. Variants. And they all... sink. And I'm going to be very rude, and I'm going to delete uh, all the ones except the one... I'm going to delete this one. Because you can't have too many misters. You need some misses as well. Oh, hello. Oh, yay. Okay, there you go. Okay, never mind. Still very much sinking. Some attempt has been made. Oh, dear. Oh. I'm actually going to... Mm. Yeah, nope. <laughs> Sorry, nope, 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 nope. Sink like rock, get out of here. <sighs> and here's another one. And it's sink like rock. That's not what we want. I'm such a damn hypocrite. I like say, nah, I'm not gonna try and fix any of these. Then I try, and then I give up. And I'm I'm just the worst. Yay, cheese and cracker. About the music. What? Hatsukoptrix 1 and 2. I... I think I remember those. It's pretty good. It's a novel idea. A uh, nuclear torpedo bomber. Jolly good. It's very much um, the Sewol Republic style, I think. EDF, cross with Starship Troopers, and also American... Hoverdog. What about the Iron Phantom? Such as before. I remember the Iron Phantom. Um... 
If you dress that up and advertise what colors, then I'll happily take it into the CC. Uh, let's see here. Are you also going to sink like a rock? Ye oh, yes, unfortunately. Oh, dear. And... Right, nope. Nope, 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 nope. Right, so this thing's got issues. But it can be fixed. So let's go here. Let's go here. And that's... And we can at least have one mister. At least one! And then we'll rename it to something else. Because animal names. Okay. Let's go here... Oh, we've got a structure. Where am I? Why am I? Who am I? Right, land is over this way. Neat. I mean, yeah, it's like... We are gonna have, like, godly craft in this campaign, so you can... I'm open to getting designs which are easy, medium, hard, and godly. So if you really want to make life hard for someone, it's allowed within reason. This is really big. It doesn't look like it should be 500,000 materials, but it is. Interesting. Is this a nuclear power plant? What's in here? Oh, it's RTGs! That makes sense. Oh, I like this. Look at this. I mean, it is a nuclear power plant, technically. It's surge protectors and... Like... RTGs, and that's basically it. Oh, man, I like, I like this. Let's, um... Let's, uh, what do we do here? Let's take this and put that in structures. I like the idea of these guys having nuclear power plants. I guess, you know, depleted uranium, they'll do that. No nuclear we- I guess they do have nuclear weapons. So if I put the AI tower over here, how do these two things look together? They actually look pretty good together. Sweet! <laughs> Alright! Hello, Senator Bonin! Oh yeah, by the way, um... Looking at me Twitch analytics, uh, remember that there are emojis and reactions that you can use? And Twitch does monitor the performance of a stream based on how many people are abusing emojis or reactions, so... Um... Like, you don't have to spam them or anything like that, but just do remember, that's a fun thing you can do. Submission still open. Yeah, 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 they're pretty much always open and just every so often, uh, Henry Wong or myself goes on the workshop and just takes note of it. What I did before, uh, on this very stream was just go on the workshop type in Amfitazwa into the search bar and, like, subscribe to literally everything. Yay! Emojis! <laughs> well, no, they don't... I don't know if they weigh emojis higher than text. It's just one of the things they track. So, like I said, you don't have to just spam them just because I say so, but they're there. And the the sooty emojis... In <laughs> Thanks, Monster Kicker. Like, yeah, and also I like seeing Sooty's face. It's great. Uh, okay, nuclear power plant. Thanks, thanks guys, I appreciate it. Like to see Sooty's face. Alright, uh, the otter. The otter, the otter, the otter. Otter, otter, otter. Otter, otter, otter. Alright, so... We're doing very well here. I remember this. I think... Who made this? This was the Gemeral. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. What? I don't know what I'm looking at here. Are these? I don't know what that's supposed to be on the back there. Radiator, perhaps? This is, what is, that's a very interesting turret neck design. Like, I've never seen that before. I'm not sure it's a good idea, but you know what? It's cool, it's like, you know. Otter. And let's just do... Hold on. Let's just do the thing. Do-do-do. 
and save vehicle, otter, load vehicle, that is definitely a light tank, light tank if I've ever seen one, and alright, so now this one, I, who made this? Trying to remember, this is a bunch of stuff, this is a bunch of cool stuff, this was, who was this? Plazovich! And this is just a bunch of cool things. Unfortunately, they seem to have some trouble floating. Alright, so let's get... Let's biff that so long. Can you all move, is the question. The flying thing can definitely move. And it's floating, it's just not floating very well. Hello? Can you not move? Interesting, these things are having serious trouble moving. Also, you just ran over your friend here. And are lagging the game to hell and back. Alright, now you're moving. Jolly good, so some kind of PID. I remember this, actually! Oh, yeah! This has a rotary cram cannon on it, which is just... Super dope. And that's definitely a heavy tank. Uh, let's repair you, you poor sod. What are you? You are the Tiddy AA? Eh, this thing is really not floating very well at all. Which is surprising because it's made mostly out of alloy. This thing could float better. Eh, uh, so. I don't know, this this is okay, we can use this, and let's save the teeny AA as a light tank, let's save the swamp dozer, a bit slow in the water I feel, but well, maybe just look slow, I really want to see this thing fire by the way, because it'll be really cool. Uh, let's just save this thing as... Hold on. We almost forget to do this. Hey, Stone Lake Presence seems where it might not be... Break core? Oh, I don't know what it even means. Ooh, cheese and crackers, yeah. No. Oh, sorry to hear about the potato instrument. These are some very nasty... Sewol craft. Um... I'm going to assume you're not talking about what's on screen, but yeah, they're like, the Sewol uh, Republic so far looks like, I mean, that they, they've got some scary stuff in there. Also the Kakave Dominion. I mean, they're kind of, I guess, uh, gameplay-wise, by the time you meet them, it's a little bit like the time you'd run into the White Flayers, Lightning Hoods, or the Grey Talons and Steel Striders, so, yeah. They're, they're supposed to be a little rough. And let's save the Swamp Dozer as a heavy tank. And where's our friend there? AC-130 Borderwise? Huh, might need to change that name. I love this thing though. Damn, this looks cool. Might need to change the name though. Like, I'm not sure how I feel about being name dropped in the campaign, even though I'm the one came up with it, I guess? This looks cool. No. Also logged for the stickers. Well, also AC-130 is a bit on the nose. So, hold on, hold on. I keep forgetting to do this. Or not. Right, save vehicle. AC-130. Goes in planes. We could use more planes. Um, we could use more planes for the Amphitazwa Alliance. Uh, they're a bit lacking in planes at the moment. Now, I just want to... Oh, this thing has not got much engine power, actually. That's a problem. Now, I just want to see you... Do this. So, Rapid Fire Cram Cannons are not particularly meta. But they are cool as hell. So, that's a... Wow, it actually clipped it. 
Also, let's have a look here. How well can you aim, even? Not well, by the looks of it. Right, airborne target, bad idea. Let's have a sea target. So, are you gonna fire, or...? Right, very cool idea. I think it needs some tweaking, though. Doo -doo -doo. And the Marauder scored first blood. That's just sad. Waiting for Stagadilly. That's a problem. Okay, we can work on that. Okay, let's go here. Just check Swamp Dozer is in there. And we got... Alright, that's the pack. We're not going to remove that. Seawolf! Who did this? The General! This kind of looks kind of like a chubby BTR. Or was it... What the hell's that Russian thing called? They're like the most ubiquitous infantry fighting a vehicle that keeps getting blown up in the movies and in real life. <laughs> nice. Yeah, planes are a problem. Yep, AWOCs. Well, an armed AWOCs, that's what it was. DV tanks, there's specifically a two tank barrels and missile pods attached to the turret cap. I mean, you could make some. Uh, yeah. BMP, thank you, thank you, people. BMP is what I was thinking of. Also, maybe I'm a weirdo, but the Centauro, that um, Italian uh, tank destroyer, wheeled uh, tank destroyer. Is it just me, or I love the look of that thing. I don't know why. It just looks cool. Big gun, light frame. Like what the Russians keep trying to do with uh, planes. Mounting artillery on small planes. Uh, but actually working. Okay, let's save the sea wolf. And... See, whoops. Sea wolf goes in light tanks. Like so. Damn you, look. You'll seagull. BMP? What? Like seagull saying BMP? What? I don't, I don't, what? Fuel tank is a back door. <laughs> I think so, I'm gonna live vicariously. Oh, okay. Oh, I know what that's like, man. Just. Yeah, it's like, From the Depths is like, great game. It is a CPU hog, and honestly, my CPU still kind of struggles with it sometimes. When things get really, uh, really... Hefty. Snapping turtle, I remember this. This bloody go that's Draymond! Hey Draymond! Draymond makes beautiful things. Draymond and Draloric that make such cool stuff. I wish I could make turrets that look this good. I swear. Also, by the way, in case anyone is wondering, um if you're wondering like how to get the meshes of like advanced cannon mantlets it's like it's the extra mesh look for extra mesh and you'll find it the deco menu i only found that out of like the other day and my life is so much better now so just just a note uh, this probably should be i don't know it could be more green i'm not sure how much color variation the emphatazwa alliance should have they probably should have some like you know browns greens Maybe some oranges, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, like, you know, but this this looks awesome. So, as it is, I don't want to mess with it right at the moment. So, let's save you, Snapping Turtle. Let's get you to where you're supposed to be, which is definitely heavy tanks. And I'm excited to actually play this campaign now. I wasn't before, but, like, I am now. It's just, like, it'd be so cool to just roll up and do this but like here's the problem it's like contrasting colors like this um 
Wow, you are also very low on the water. That might be by design, though. Okay, let's go here. And now we've got the many multiple toads, which, if my memory is correct, these things might not float well. BMP. <laughs> Mine? Mine? All right. Oh, now I get it. What CPU do I have? Like, it's on my channel about page, so I'm going to read it out to you. Uh, all right, now let's go. Whoops, no. All right, so PC. It is an AMD Ryzen 9 590 50X CPU, 16 core, 32 thread, which is pretty good. I believe it's not top range. I don't keep up very well with like. Uh, PC stuff and like, you know, the tech scene. I probably should, but I'm... This might sound weird. I'm not a naturally techie person. I've had to kick my own ass to learn that. Alright, let's look at the toad. What... The hell am I looking at? I-74 something. Yep. Ye... Oh, yeah. I think, yeah, I think it's, um... How much? I have excessive amounts of RAM. I forget how much, it's just overkill amounts of RAM. I might have gone insane. Uh, but yeah, it's mostly, like, the CPU that From the Depths really, really likes using. Just because, of, like, there's lots of, like, fast calculations that happen. Every block interacts with every other. This needs a bigger gun. If you're gonna have something like this, you need a much, much bigger gun, or you need to decorate the barrel so it doesn't look so tiny. Jank! It's Jank again! Hello, Jank. It's good to see you. This just makes me think of, like, I don't even know what. Also, this needs roll control. Badly. But hey, it's amphibious, and it's, it is amphibianing. Also, a lot of these vehicles are just lacking engine power, and I think it's just because they're, they aren't taking both the propellers and the wheels in mind. So yeah, no, this, this, I do like this. It's like, it's definitely memorable. I'm like, wow, this, I, rem I will remember this. This is the Toad HPDS. Hold on, there's multiple Toads. Toad H. TV. We're gonna pick one toad. Oh, this is the cargo toad. Do we? We already have a cargo craft, so. We have the mud skipper. What's the mud skipper look like? Hmm. Alright, uh, we'll decide at one point which gets to be the resource uh, vehicle. Um, I do like this though, I just like the way it's shaped. Turn off the wheels in water? Yeah, I think you can. Or maybe wheels don't uh, consume power when they're like not touching land. Maybe, I'm not sure. Oh, spare species. <laughs> Hello Marcel! Oh, yeah. Okay, they do take power to just... Oh, dear. Well, that... What the... <coughs> okay, excuse me. Alright, so I look away for two seconds. You're almost sinking, and you're doing a bar... You have flipped over. So, a uh, roll control, people. And when I say amphibious, I really do mean that... I mean, it's got a hydrofoil on it, but... Alright, so we will chuck... Uh, what one is this? The HTV. Uh, you are set to cargo, bravo. First, they get you out of there, so... HTV goes... HDTV would be even better. Ha 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 ha. Okay, we seem to be lacking a actual resource gatherer here. So now, we have one, two... RBE. Oh, what the hell? That's a structure? 
Oh, that's so cool! Oh, we can have all three! Neat! Oh, I love that! This is like the mobile base! Guys, I like it! I like it! It's just about this big lump of, like, heavy armor on there that could be deco better, but, like, aside from that, yeah, that's cool! I like it! Wait, what? Boo? What? Do snow- what? Why boo? Why boo? What did I do? Do 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 do. MCV, yeah. Oh, boot my HDTV. Okay, okay, okay. Got it, got it, got it. Right, I know, I deserve that. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. That's probably fine. Right, Toad RBE. RBE, I love that. That's cool, I like it. Okay, what else? Uh, what else do? What else do? Right, Toad HPDS. HD TV, OMG, WGF BBQ, lol. All right, uh, that goes in. How big and expensive is this? That's light tank territory. I mean, that's technically a half track, but uh, yeah, let's just go here. Light tank. There's a lot of light tanks here. Uh, looks like we're gonna need to request more planes. All right. So, and we've got a turtle. How many turtles do we have? Can the turtle? Oh, I remember this. It sinks. Who did this? This was Fanbuild. I'm terribly sorry, Fanbuild, but this thing is, uh. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Sorry! Alright, what's the account? I remember that this thing might actually fit better into, I think, the Glacave Dominion because of just how weird and, like, sciency it is. But this is, like, a pretty cool airship. Like, it's... I don't know. If you look at this, folks... <laughs> I love how, like, the front and back is color-coded. Green's in the front, red's in the back. Um, when you look at this, are you thinking, does this remind you of, like, Command and Conquer? Because... I don't know, maybe you could convert this into a Zeppelin of some kind? I think this might be more... Glacave Dominion style. Yay! Yeah. Thank you for the subscription, Senros. Much appreciated. Um... Yay! Yay, 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 yay. Yeah, this is, this is what I'm thinking. I think in like... Made this Onyx Watch Best Faction. Uh, hang on a little bit. Let me go there. I'm going to bung this into the Gakave Dominion folder for now, but I am going to. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to. I think their uh, camo is Arctic, so MO Arctic. Mo arc dick two and this is all what the hell am I looking at? Alright, so that There we go. Alright, that's already looking very Glacave, so let's do that. Whoops, wrong button. I'm bad with buttons. Aircraft, jolly good. And Glacave there. Save over, and then I'm going to just chuck this over into the Glacave Dominion, which we will get to. There's stuff in there. They love their hover tanks. The Glacave Dominion might actually be one of the hardest factions to make for so because of their requirements to have a bunch of different weapons on their craft. But yeah, this is... I love this thing, by the way. I think it looks so cool. It's a glass cannon, certainly, but um, it can flatten the crossbones without getting scratched, so that's already a point in its favor. 
Oh, oh yeah, by the way, shout out to 3D Wrecker. Uh, they have a YouTube channel where they, like, forge knives and stuff. So if you're into that, go check that out. Okay. You're welcome, 3D Wrecker. Skeleton of an Amazon drone is actually- yeah, damn, this thing is like undead and it's coming for Jeff Bezos. You hear that, Jeff? The drones are rising. Okay, so we've done that, and let's go over here, back to what we're supposed to be doing. Uh, right, we've got a DT-1B, does this float? No, it does not. Who made this? This was made ages ago. Jank. I think this was... These aren't in any particular order. I think um, some of these were made before people fully got the memo that like it, th things have to be amphibious here. So, there is that. Oh yeah, I remember this thing. I think the idea was that this thing crawls along the ocean floor. Uh, but I don't want sea crawlers for the Amphitazo Alliance, because sea crawlers are, like, really annoying. So, yeah, nah. Nah, 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 nah. Okay, let's get out of that. And there's a whole bunch of green anaconda variants, by the way. Or just anaconda variants. Who made this? This thing's huge. Walter Rorich Gaming. Probably a different name on Steam. Yeah, this is a heavy tank. This is a heavy tank that does heavy tank thing. What? even is in here. Oh, these are... Oh, they're particle cannons. Righty ho, then. Yeah, that looks... That looks just fine. It's even set... It's even got the settings right already, so... Let's put the green anaconda into heavy tanks. And let's go over here. And horn swoggle class assault craft. I remember this thing as well. This thing I love this thing's tail. And its turrets, actually. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Looks cool. Let's do that. Horn swoggle goes. How big and mean is this? See the thing is is that Ah, that's a heavy tank. That's a heavy tank. It's big enough to be a heavy tank. Don't run each other over, I swear. I swear to cheese and crackers. Uh, let's go here. Light tanks. It's a big light tank, but... Um, but light tank nonetheless. Yeah, exactly. That's the idea. Oh, That's very flattering, Senros. Uh, the key is to keep at it. Yay. Alright, very few submarines in this campaign. Yeah, the main reason for... There are some... Uh, most of the submarines are just going to be... Uh, I think it's mostly going to be like... Yeah, the Sewol Republic and the Glacavit and Minion who are submarines. Mostly because uh, submarines are not fun to fight. They're just kind of boring. Like, you can either like annihilate them or you can't do anything against them. and that's Or they take a really long time to kill and that's a problem. And they just kissed. Well, Green Anaconda versus Hornswoggle. Who would have thought uh, Green Anaconda won that one? Uh, okay, let's go back over here. Trining. Ooh, it's a structure. We've got a refinery. I don't actually. Is this a fortress? Nope. What the hell am I looking at? Okay, that is a structure. We need a resource fortress, people. Okay, where are we? Let's go. Where are we? We're going here. Yay. Um, can they not have submarines? Oh, right. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, sorry. See, I forget my own damn rules. Uh, the Klakave Dominion, all their stuff is amphibious so can fly, same as the Amphitazwa. So... Nah, it's pretty much just the Sewol Republic who really leans into the subs. Although the Hawa Confederacy also... Hawa Confederation also has them. We've got a nice big refinery here. For flavor. And we've got... We've got a harvester, I guess? With a giant gun on it? 
I'm not sure about that, but... Is this amphibious? Looks amphibious. Alright, that's a, that's a, this looks this is a damn good refinery. Let's chuck this uh, into the structures. And I want to put a nuclear power plant behind it. I just want to see what it looks like. It matches up quite well. The camo doesn't match perfectly, but Yeah, what is this? Let's have a look. Here, camouflage textures, forest. Yeah, we can sort that out later. Just can like make the make it all visually consistent. Oh, nice one, 3D wrecker. <laughs> oh boy. Yay! Oh yeah, I remember the tyranny. Mm, yes. Yeah. Question Master uh, loves the nuclear torpedoes, and I don't blame them, because the nuclear torpedoes are fun. They make things explode. Okay, so that's that. Uh, we're almost done here, and then we can just kind of muck around for a little bit. Uh, let's go here. So we got a yellow anaconda. This is probably... Player? Okay. What? Oh, oh, it's patterned to look like an anaconda. Neat. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Just do that quickly. And heavy spa. Right, I will pick one yellow anaconda. Just one. I'm going to pick the one with cram on it because that's the one that looks prettiest. So. Whoa, also that explodes. And so does that. Okay, let's just go here. Apologies. But yeah, can't have too many yellow anacondas. And. Da, 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 da. Da. And yes, this is kind of. See, this is. It's big! But also light? I don't know. Like, is this heavy tank or like. It's a bit all over the place, really. The classifications are hard. I'm gonna say this is a light tank because it's like reasonably cheap. So. And also kind of lightly armored by the looks of it for the most part. Uh, how well do you do- does the fight? Hold on, let's do that. Let's do that. Can you shoot that thing? The answer's yes. You can. Whee! Okay, see you, Henry Wong! Innocent Fox, yee! His anaconda do okay. Boo! <laughs> Boo! Stro Stroder! Stroder! Uh, I can't pronounce anything. Oh boy. Okay. Did you- have you missed every time? I think you have. I'm just like, this is the last vehicle to review, so I'm just looking at it. I do love- here's the thing, if I made that yellow pattern myself, I would hate it, but... Looking at this, I think it looks really cool. Go on, fire again. Do it. You know you want to. Wh oh man, you missed. It might not have aim point selection. Wouldn't that be interesting? <laughs> Did I actually chuck you? No, I didn't. Uh, light tanks. Here we go. And we're going to blow up an atlas. Hopefully before the day's over. Hello ho! Yay! Wow! See, this is why people make cram cannons, and I somehow keep failing to make my crams do that beautiful one-shot kill. How strong is this? 
That's a pretty chunky cramp cat. Alright, so, um... Okay, now I'll go on about that in the video I actually plan to record uh, very soon, but, um... Yeah, cram cannons. I do like them. Okay, right, so we got about 15 minutes to kill. Uh, okay, yeah. Yeah, no copyright infringement, please. Alright, so... I, You know what I want to do? I want to just um, set up a custom... Uh, battle now, just like testing these things out. Um, just for giggles, because we got about 15 minutes or so. Uh, proceed to main menu, single player. Why did I do that? Load, so. Believe, standard fight setup. Ashes? Can we do that? Uh, preview location, where are we? Right, we're there, that's. I want to draw up one, two, three. Uh, three tiles north. Right, that will do. Actually, one more tile. Put them in some rough terrain, actually. Actually, one, one down and to the left. All right. East. Where are we? We're right here. Perfect. I think maybe not. Actually, one, one more tile north. Amphibious fights are hard. Uh, amphibious Hawa APC. Uh, what is it? Where is it? Workshop. Hold on, I will look at it. I'll look at it after the stream's over. If I've missed it now, I will go find it. What's it called? Oh, wait. Oh, what? APC. That'd be it. Uh. Oh! Oh! Righty ho then. Yeah, I found it. Okay. When was this chucked up? 13 February. Wow, I just missed this. Oh, that sucks. Alright, yeah, I found it. I found it. Looks good. APC made out of wood. Not sure how well that would go down, but meh. Bleacher APC. Yep, I got it. Thank you for telling me. Jolly good. Okay. Okay. Alright, let's actually... I'm going to save this. Is save as standard fudge. Amphibious fight setup. And we're just going to go over here. We're going to do some... I'm just going to... What am I going to do? I'm going to just chuck a whole bunch of deep water guard stuff. Actually, maybe Onyx Watch stuff. Uh, hold on. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Hold on. I'm going to chuck just a whole bunch of, like, deep water guard airships against this and see what happens. Uh, built in. Why did I do that? Or not. Damn it. Now nah, we'll stick we'll stick with one folder. Let's do a bunch of light tanks versus heavy tanks and see who wins. And do what do we want to do? We want to go here. Building at the moment. Good question. <laughs> uh, true. All right, let's go over here. Emphasize one alliance, and let's just throw. all the light tanks that we have against all the heavy tanks. I'm guessing the heavy tanks are gonna win, just because. Oh, this might be laggy. This might be extremely 
laggy. So let's do five blueprints per row, 500 meters between them. And that's team one. All the lightweights. And actually there's a lot of heavyweights here, so... So Caprosuchus, Alligator, Croc, Raucus, Snapping Turtle, Green Anaconda, and the Swamp Dozer. So let's see, that's over 2 million, and that is not even 500,000. So this is going to be an ass whipping that we're going to do mainly for giggles. <laughs> Meow, 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 meow. Mmm. Oh dear. Wow, this is that. The Hornswoggle Glass's name is just so long that it blocks out most of the screen. And so much for this being an amphibious fight, I guess. Let's just have a look at all our dudes. Right, lots of amphibious stuff. Let's go over here. We it's laggy. It is laggy, 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 so place your bets. How fast will this take? I'm gonna bet it's gonna take less than ten minutes. What's, like, the fact that you can't get rid of the bloody thing over there, I might need to get rid of the Hornswoggle for this. Taking so long just to get into position. And how's the stream looking? It's looking beautiful. Let's just... Fighter that skips on water. That might be quite hard to do. And let's see here. Wow, the Raucous has already taken damage. I'm guessing it's... I don't know why that is, actually. Oh, this is too many tanks. Oh, this is way too many tanks. What am I looking at over here? Well, the green anaconda with the particle cannons is probably going to make a bit of a mess of things. What was that? That's the Gek. It's, uh, that's getting messed with. There's actually a lot of cram cannons being flown around. Don't worry, soon, very soon things will despawn. And yep, wow, the Gek is absolutely getting it. <laughs> Oh boy. One advantage that the light tanks have here is that uh, because they're so small, cram cannons are going to have a hard time hitting them consistently. What's that thing again? Oh, that's just cheating. I just realized the spadefoots are light tanks. Let's just pause for a second. Oh my goodness, the distances are so... Are so massive! They're so mahoosive! Okay. Why don't I think this was a good idea? I should have just spawned in like one heavy tank and a bunch of light tanks. So this is the Caprosuchus, one of the first things we saw at the beginning of the stream. Very cool. Very, very, very cool. THR 1000 Earth Mover. Is that like the biggest one? As I recall. Damn, the heavy tanks are not winning as fast as I thought they would. Well, the Hornswoggle is going to be is going to be uh, beaten up a little bit. So if I follow this over here... 
Whee! Oh, poor Hornswoggle. Things with multiple firing pieces. Oh no! This is one of the problems with uh, having a single turret. It gets it like when that gets blown off. Uh, that's kind of it, really, isn't it? Yee. This is a possibly something we need to think about. Is that um, with so many small vehicles, Amphitazwa fights could get very laggy. So, I mean, that's within the player's control. They can just do that. Whoa! Wow, the frog just got eaten. The frog got flattened. Oh, Mr. Frog. Oh, Mr. Frog. You are dead. As a dead log. Yeah. Okay, see you, Mike. Reach. Hmm. Helldivers 2. Oh... It's a giant three kilometer war giraffe fueled by blood. Okay, well now you know I have to look at that. Oh my gosh. Bless the Mr. A1. It's so cute. It's just gunning forward like an absolute legend. Let's see how long you last while I look up the uh, THR 1000 Earth Mover. Because I want to have a live reaction of me reacting to that. THR thousand. Did I type that in right? Oh, all right. So ultra kill, right? I thought you were talking about like the like a real that the real life Earth mover that thing is, which is like the largest mining machine uh, in existence. I guess I was mistooken. Yeah, like, th there's a real... Yeah, there's a real thing that's, like... Essentially just got a giant uh, rotating uh, bucket scoop. And it's, like, used for mining. And it's shockingly big. The Bagger 298? I think that's what I'm thinking of. Hang on. Let's have a look here. Let's have a squiz. Is that what I think is? Bagger... Uh, 298? Are we sure it's 29... Whoops. 2... Okay, Bagger... Alright, so Bagger 293 is the world's tallest terrestrial vehicle. So, apparently there's a bunch of things. They're just bloody huge. Oh my god, that thing is enormous. That's just excessive. Right, and now the now the Gex copped it. Deacon's Christmas. I love bucket wheel excavators. Yeah, I mean... Mining is terrible for the environment, just in general, but you can still, like, appreciate the machinery involved. It's, like, very impressive stuff. I'm just looking forward to the day when we can mine asteroids and we don't have to, uh, basically make a mess of our house in order to get the things we need for our smartphones, because that'll be super cool. Okay, yeah, the Team Heavy Tanks is not even scratched, so I'm not sure what I was expecting. Is the Swamp Dozer even firing? <laughs> oh, boy. What is happening? Yep, and the Polywog just got... Was that the Polywog? Nope, the Mister just got... Wow! Deacon's hell. That's why you don't get too close to the incoming fire. Just not a smart idea. What is that over there? The Model 1976 is just run is running away on land. <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, in practice, um, I believe my asteroid mining, like, would be cheaper. Except, I think, like, the technology already exists. It's just the getting the infrastructure in place for it. And also agreeing where you're going to drop it. Like, that is the thing. It's because the whole idea is you go out, you send up a probe, the probe gets pushed uh, into Earth's orbit, uh, you mine it in orbit, like you send up a satellite to like actually get the good stuff out, and then you drop it in a like a in a capsule down to Earth, and like that's a whole new age of piracy right there, because you've got to drop it in the ocean, and so you better get there first. <laughs> Yeah, that is the problem, it's like space technology actually needs to mature a little bit uh, in order to properly do that. It's it's your bloody fault, the bloody crocs spamming uh, small uh, interceptors. Yeah, you need, um, what do you need? You actually need tethers. Um, you need the thing which is just constantly rotating a space and essentially just throws things into orbit. Like, you know, a fuelless way of uh, making things happen. And my goodness gravy. There goes the sea wolf. <laughs> this is why being small and slow is a bad idea in From the Depths. And it's why certain players are going to have a really fun time uh, blowing up them for Tazwa Alliance. Okay, we're getting the message here. Uh, I'm going to live... I think the stream... Like, we can end the stream here. Yeah. Actually, yeah, moon base. Very good idea. Because it's a lot easier to launch things off the moon. Okay, let's do... What can we do here? This fight's actually too laggy to be truly enjoyable, so I'm gonna leave it here. And yeah, you can mine the moon. So, thank you all so much uh, for uh, joining me on this stream. This was great fun. It's so, so cool and so flattering to see all the things people have made for this custom campaign. I think this campaign's actually gonna be pretty fun. We're gonna have a very wide vehicle roster, actually. Because, you know, I'm gonna chuck most of it in there just because. Why not? So, yeah, we are gonna... There's a lot of work to do, but, you know, we're not in any rush. Or at least I'm not. And so, yeah, usual end of stream stuff. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, like and follow and subscribe uh, on the YouTubes, on the Twitch. I have a second channel as well, Border Triple R, where I do not from the depths. I actually... Uh, what, what am I doing over there? I'm doing the Spire Diary, which is hilariously fun. I just ramble like a crazy person while trying to beat Slay the Spire. And what else can I talk about? Yeah, I've written a book called Two of Rogues, and you should go read it because it's very good. Uh, I've actually finished the draft of my second book, so you can expect that at some point in the future too. And I'm working on my third. I'm a busy boy for once, so that's nice. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for all the stuff. Yep, I've... Uh, Working on the second one. First draft is done, which probably means it's going to be years before anyone sees it, apart from my mum. But yeah, I will see you next week for another From the Depth stream. And have a good one. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whichever one you have. See you next time. And farewell.